My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read my writing and to see my latest CNN appearances and my MSNBC and RT appearances, you can go to hagoodman.com. I'll be starting a new publication February 1st. You're going to love it. So Madonna at the Women's Rally, the Women's March, uh, threatened to blow up the White House. I will read you her quote, and then I'll read you what she wrote on Instagram to clarify the remark. Uh, the remarks, which, by the way, um, technically illegal. Obviously, she didn't. Well, you judge. So, quote, yes, I'm angry, the Michigan-born entertainer said. Quote, yes, I am outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. <laughs> okay. But I know that this won't change anything. We cannot fall into despair. We can't fall into despair and blow up the White House. Gee, that's kind of you. Um, and then she wrote on Instagram, clarifying the remark. Madonna. This is not, I'm reading her Instagram um, remarks. Yesterday's rally was an amazing and beautiful experience. I came and performed Express Yourself, and that's, that's exactly what I did. Doesn't seem like she's taking anything back. Okay. However, I want to clarify some very important things. I am not a violent person. I do not promote violence, and it's important, and it's important people hear and understand my speech. In its entirety, Rather than, take, rather than one phrase taken wildly out of context, my speech began with, I want to start a revolution of love. I then go on to take this opportunity to encourage women and all marginalized people to not fall into despair, but rather to come together and use it as a starting point for unity and to create positive change in the world. I spoke in metaphor and I shared two ways of looking at things. One was to be hopeful, and one was to feel anger and outrage, which I have personally felt. However, I know that acting out of anger doesn't solve anything. And the only way to change things for the better is to do it with love. It was truly an honor to be part of an audience chanting, We choose love. We choose love. Well, first of all, um, if your name isn't Madonna and you threaten anyone in this country, I'll read you. This is in 2013. You've probably heard this story. Texas teen facing eight years after violent League of Legends threat. So Madonna ex expresses herself and says she wants to blow up the White House, but she's doing it with love. This poor guy got went through hell. I'll read you. Uh, League of Legends, okay. But on occasion, online misbehavior goes too far, such as such as the case with a teenager from Texas who has been jailed since February for something he said during a game of League of Legends. The quote, after being called insane by another player, a teenager responded, Oh yeah, I'm real messed up in the head. I'm going to shoot up a school full of kids and eat their still beating hearts. Though his comments were immediately followed by JK and LOL, the threat was disturbing enough for the teenager's address to be tracked down. When it was revealed he lived near an elementary school, and this was taking place mere months after Sandy Hook, the authorities were contacted and the teenager was arrested. arrested. He's been in jail ever since, spending his 19th birthday behind bars for, quote, making a, a terrorist threat. If convicted, he could spend a full eight years in prison for the comment. So eventually, he didn't serve the eight years, but he spent, he still spent time in jail, locked up, before, uh, before the final verdict that let him go. But can you imagine this poor guy f playing League of Legends? Okay. He's jailed. What happened was so the one of the online people he was talking to called the authorities in his town, if you can imagine this. And then he was jailed for a long time um, and had to endure just hell. And Madonna gets away with, of course, saying she wants to blow up the White House. So, and this is... This is the reason we have a President Trump when we could have had a Bernie Sanders. There I said it. I'm going to say it every, almost every segment. Um, 
when you have a Republican in office and you could have had the most progressive candidate since FDR, don't threaten the White House and certainly don't pretend that you were speaking in metaphor. You, she, event, she most likely, almost certainly expressed her true feelings. Maybe she daydreamed, maybe she had a daydream or some kind of, you know, who knows what, but she said what she wanted to say. You don't usually accidentally threaten someone. So that's also against the law. It's against the law to threaten the president. So she got away with it. This poor teenager a couple years back uh, went to jail, uh, you know, had to go through a horrendous legal battle and uh, just a horrendous situation because of an online threat playing League of, uh, of Legends. Madonna gets away with it. And in terms of why I, I lost my train of thought, you have these fake, phony liberals. They're the biggest fakes and phonies. And if you're conservative, you're watching this channel, believe me, real progressives can't stand them, have even lower respect for them than you do. These liberal war hawk, chicken hawks, um, amnesia, they're full of, they have, they stand for nothing. If it's President Obama bombing countries, if it's protests regarding um, under President Obama, whether it's the Code Access Pipeline or Ferguson or Baltimore, it's America's problem. It's not Obama's problem. It's if, if President Obama um, sanctions a private server that leads to an FBI criminal investigation for his Secretary of State and Hillary Clinton, it's never, it's always just reporting what takes place. It's never accusing. What's going on with Trump now is the media is accusing him of things uh, and focusing on any anything he says. Sure, he might say things that are not true, but Hillary Clinton said things that weren't true all the time. She was given a free pass. It was never a security review, for example. It was an FBI criminal investigation. She sent and received things, uh, emails that were marked classified, emails that were classified. Nobody took her to task in terms of that, those issues. So we can go on forever regarding President Obama. Eventually, people did lose their health insurance because of the Affordable Care Act. We can go on forever. The Snopes and the, the factcheck.orgs and the uh, PolitiFacts uh, were very kind to President Obama and Hillary Clinton. Nobody really cared if they lied. With Trump, it's, oh my goodness. And now you have the celebrities going to such great lengths that they want to blow up the White House, but they want to do it with love. So it's just a combination of a whole bunch of things. She wanted to blow up the White House, but she didn't really mean it, Madonna, because she it was all about love. Meanwhile, the poor kid in Texas uh, endured hell uh, for an online comment. Give me your thoughts below. What do you think of Madonna's quote-unquote apology? Thank you so much for listening.